previous video, we saw how to set up the exported Maya file properly, and now it's time to put at least one object of proxy geometry in order to fit the footage itself. Don't forget that bringing the file into Maya is not enough. We have to use proxy geometry in order to set the proper perspective within Maya's 3D space. So let's see how to do that. So I'm going to go to the quad view and I'm going to try to see as much of the perspective window and the camera viewfinder and then I can take my grouped camera and I'm going to use the rotation on it. It's very important to understand I move the whole grouped camera that includes the trackers and the camera until I have the proper perspective. At this point it will be okay to take the cube itself and change a bit of its size so it will initially fit to the house that I see in the shot. Now that I have a basic rotation on the grouped camera, I can scroll through the timeline to make sure that the cube sticks to the footage itself, and it is. So that tells me that my set fitting and my perspective matching is accurate. But I still have a little bit of an issue right here. There's a little bit of a gap. So I'm gonna have to take my grouped camera again and then rotate it around the X and a bit around the Z, not much, in order to match it properly. This is it you guys, you made it through the basic introduction course to PF Track. I really hope you enjoyed this course and I really hope to see you in the other PF Track courses in which we go deeper into the software and explore other workflows. I am Michael Rafaelovich and you've been VFX Tutored.